everyone, it's Carol at Ocast Journals and this is the final, the last prompt in Junk Journal July 2023 and I can't believe we've got here, I really can't. It has flown but a big thank you to Meg over at Meg Journals who has hosted this um, challenge. It's been absolutely brilliant and I have to say some of the prompts have really had me um, racking my brains as to what I could do but we are at the last one and the last prompt is going to go on this page or what I'm going to create will go on this this page which is the last page in my journal um, now the very final prompt is nostalgia and until this morning I had an idea in mind but it's gone completely out of the window because I was given these this morning um, and these are old family cabinet cards believe it or not now they're very very faded some of these you can hardly make out um, some of the um, people on the uh, on the cards or in the photographs but some of them I mean this looks so old I'm not sure if you can make those people out but they're amazing absolutely amazing and then this is a location of, um, uh, well, we believe it's Ingleton Falls, but we're, we're not sure. And um, where are we? This one. This one says the Dipping Well at Knaresborough. And then this is an old family home, apparently. So I decided that I wanted to use one of these on my piece today and I'm going to go with this one and the reason I'm going with this one is because I have this now this was um, an old vintage card and I probably and you can probably make out that I've ripped it off the card and to me that looks like a wedding bouquet the, the old style of wedding bouquet and this clearly to me it looks like a wedding photo well it might not be but I think it might well be so I want to use these two on my piece um, I particularly like this one because it's got the same green color tones as in that one so I'm kind of hoping that it's not going to be too big to go on here um, but certainly the color will flow through and using this I hope will blend in with this so I do have the very um, minuscule idea in the back of my mind for doing something with these two pieces I've also got my scraps here of the paint splattered and coloured glassine bags and because I've used them on this page I want to take them through onto this page so I'm not really sure where this one is going to go but I'm going to give it a try what I thought is I would have this kind of up there and make use of the border on the card and hide this which is the vertical line and just come down onto there I don't if I need to, I can add some more of that down that side. But at the moment, I'm thinking I will just have that up there and take it right up to the top, um, something like that. And then I thought I could make use of this to straddle it and to do a very simple collage. Now, what I'm hoping is that I can cut into this and that's why I've peeled it off the card because what I'm hoping is I can maybe cut around that rose a little bit so that this cabinet card can slot underneath there and I can have that rose in this blank area here so that I don't need to cut into this um, because to fit it on my page like that and to give me a little border along the bottom I would have to trim it across the top and I think that will spoil it so uh, I'm going to give that a go and stagger it and hopefully pull that up and maybe I can pull that down and then obviously I've got a 
blank area here where I thought I could bring in this or perhaps a label of some sort. So bear with me as I put the camera in hyperlapse and just get going on this and see where it leads me. So here I am just cutting into that um, vintage card and doing a little bit of fussy cutting around the rose and the leaves or the foliage at the top there. I do actually cut too high um, and end up causing a problem for myself later on. But uh, it's just a case of feeling my way to see what looks best. Um, that's kind of working. I'm actually liking where I've lifted up that brown tape on the right hand side. Um, and you'll see I actually put it underneath that at one stage. Here I'm going in with some of the um, glassine bags in various places. Just little scraps here and there, trying to get them all in place with a dab of glue. Not liking how that staggering is looking on the right hand side, so I add a couple of pieces there to try and uh, blend the two together a little bit better. And here you can see me, I'm trying to shove some of the glassine bag up under that foliage there to hide a gap that I created for myself. So there we go, that's my main piece done. And here I am going in with some glue, gluing it down onto my page. Adding a little bit at the side to cover up that pink vertical line. And here I've got some of the Tim Holtz um, ephemera snippets. And I'm just adding a few labels, so one at the side there, layering up two here, there we go, one on top of the other, and then just grabbing a piece of the glassine bag, roughly tearing it and layering it up on that. So yeah, for the final prompt, a very, very quick and easy piece. So here we go everybody, this is my last and final page for the final prompt in Junk Journal July and as you saw in the credits the prompt for this page was nostalgia so I went with this card, didn't quite work managing to cut away um, or fussy cut up here to sort of slide my card under it. I ended up going too far up um, so I had to slot some of this um, paint splattered glassine bag up there um, as a make do amend. It's about the best I could do really given the, the circumstances so please don't look too closely up there. Um, so yeah just a very simple page this time round with uh, layers of the glassine bag there underneath here down the side there a little bit and then just here to cover up that hint of the vertical pink line from the ledger paper behind and then I used another portion just under a couple of the um, Ranger Tim Holtz collection uh, snippet labels this is the curator collection um, and as always I'll put links to um, that in the description box or details of that in the description box so as I say a couple of labels there and one just here but basically that's it um, obviously this lovely genuine cabinet card and then this vintage um, card here. So there we go everybody. Thank you so much for watching today and seeing this one come together and thank you for your company all the way through July um, doing these challenges and I will have one final video left for you and that will be a complete flip through of my little journal here so that you can see each page um, in detail and also the cover. I will finally finally get round to completing the cover and the closure that I have in mind for this little journal. So I do hope you will pop back for this one last video and uh, until then take care, keep smiling, happy crafting and bye from me.